The case that went before Justice George Odunga sought conservatory orders to restrain the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission from investigating members of the Judicial Service Commission, Finance and Administration Committee, which at the time consisted of Smokin Wanjala, Mohamed Warsame, Hamed Nasir Abdullahi, Reverend Samuel Kobia, Christine Mango and Emilio Minde. The six are said to have sat at a meeting that approved expenditure of about 52 million shillings, money paid to 12 suppliers that eventually occasioned loss of public funds. This was after former registrar Gladys Bosch Soleil was dismissed over financial impropriety. Parliament's Accounts Committee, after investigations, recommended that the six be held responsible for bypassing the financial management procedures by directly approving the payments. But the Judicial Service Commission says the Parliamentary Accounts Committee considered misleading facts in their recommendations. Thus, their findings were incorrect and cannot therefore be relied upon by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission in their intended investigations. Further, the Judicial Service Commission says Parliament intends to settle scores. JAC says commencing investigations on the basis of Parliament's recommendations violates the Constitution and that they are irrational and unreasonable on the grounds that they were calculated to achieve a collateral purpose to reverse a decision of the court made against the National Assembly. The High Court then held that the JAC, as a constitutional commission, is not subject to the control or direction of the National Assembly or any of its departmental committees, and that the National Assembly, through the Departmental Committee of Justice and Legal Affairs, is not entitled to supervise and sit on appeal on the decision of the Judicial Service Commission when the commission is lawfully discharging its mandate under the Constitution. JAC then had sent the former Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Gladys Soleil, on compulsory leave in order to undertake independent investigations. Once again, the judiciary is out to stamp its authority. It's likely to invoke the doctrine of separation of powers. With these temporary orders granted, this case will be mentioned on the 7th of next month. Ken Mijungu, NTV.